record speaks for itself, and here he is. Uh, finishes up his first round in the loser's bracket pretty swiftly, and now he's going to deal with this pick a row with, uh, with this Blanca. And it's Blanca. Oh, wait, wait. Is this, is this a button check, or do we have the JP? What's happening here, Banjo? What's happening here, Banjo? Oh, I'm on JP. Oh, this is what the people wanted. That's all that is. Idom on the JP. There we go. Shin Shin Idom. This is what the people wanted. He's just like, yeah, bro, you're Blanca, so we're gonna. We're, I want to make sure that we lock you down hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You want to stay full screen? You can stay full screen. I got something for that. I like it because with Manon, you have to get in the Blanca's face, and that's where he is so dangerous. So, gonna. Pick his spots a little better here. And honestly, I like the idea that Idom is trying the JP out first just to see if it works. And if anything goes wrong, then, you know, he has his true main in the back. But Idom, like I said, full screen, but no problem for Picaro. Wow, and just so tricky. A little corpse top coming out for Blanca right here. Another throw going to be Tech. Oh, gets caught. Yeah. Drive rush. Coming in clutch there, and we've got a quick round for Picaro. And gonna come in, gonna get the grab, gonna try to stalk him for another one. No, no luck. Here we go. To the other side of the stage with you. Yeah, and honestly, with Blanca just sitting there full screen, I think, yes, making him come up off, off of meter for a movement option is the best that he could possibly do yeah. right now. And, and now the oppression. And he's burned out other side of the stage. You can do a ton of chip damage here, and you really don't have to risk a lot to do it. But he's going to go in. Doesn't get the splat either Doesn't time. Doesn't get the splat again. Goes That's for, for a third again. time. Gets the splat. And yeah, we're going to use the uh, level one. Not going to do it quite yet, but respecting it 100%. Yeah. Oh, my oh God. No. Oh, no. My brother, don't go for the DI there. Don't go for the DI. Tried to reach a little too hard with one pixel and uh, gets caught for it. But here we go. Gets caught on the drive rush in. Going to go across the stage, and we are going to set up the JP shenanigans that we've come to know. Uh, about. But there we go. Bro, he leaped from he leaped from, from Narnia, bro. Like, what? Oh, install and goes up with a little air to air. Yep, you got to hold it. Gets okay. a touch. Got this man hit corner. him in the back of his head. You better wake up. Unfortunate trade there for Picaro because that's going to burn the majority of that down. <laughs> and he's going to throw that out. Oh, he's going to touch him. He's going to touch him. He's going to hurt him. Is it going to kill? Is it going to kill? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey. The uh, the IDOM JP is a real, and IDOM says, "Look, if you want to sit there full screen, bro, then I, I have something for that. I'm not gonna try to do any shenanigans with medals, bro. We're, we're just gonna lock y'all down, man." Crowd getting high. Blanca ball, counter hit, and gonna take the corner here. Oh, but gets caught, and he's gonna go into the corner. You got oh, my man is smart with the Blanca balls, Banjo. Here we go. Literally, Picaro getting caught here by the jump in. And Idom just kind of sitting here. Oh, no. Where it's oh, no. And has enough oh, for no. Philly to reach him. Oh, my God. He's got to do something. He's going to get burned out. Oh, yeah. there we go. Gets the touch. Wow. Tries to wake up with amnesia. Nobody home. Sniffed out by Picaro. We got a round on the board. Here we go. Once again, sitting full screen. And Idom. Getting clipped by that combo immediate, immediately. And Picaro, kind of the weight and allowing yourself to get jumped in on. And then the combo for the level two wins off the low forward. Now you got uh, Shiny Blanca. Here we go. Yep. Baits out the parry, respecting the Blanca chant and respects it too much. Gets grabbed again. Perfect. 1-1. One, one. And he's going to stay on the JP. Oh, wow. Caught him trying to set up traps. Was able to block the jump in even after the whiff grab, but gets thrown again. Here we go. 
And literally over and over again, he's like, yo, I'm willing to sit here and spike. Wow, forcing some movement out of here is Idon Piccaro. Now with a, a very sizable deficit, the ball is actually in your court, Idom. And Piccaro has to find a way to circumvent this offense and does it with that Blanca ball. Wow, oh. grabbed him out of... Grabbed him out of the grab. He grabbed him out of command throw? Whoa, that didn't get wall splat? Hey. Hey, game, what's happening? If I think the mechanic is that if it's true, if the if the DI is true and you combo into it, you don't get it. Someone correct me in chat if I'm wrong. I'm wrong all the time. But here we go. Coming through. Picaro trying to go up 2-1 on Adam. And he's doing a pretty good job. The unfortunate trade there on the jump in has to back up. But man. That big old pimp cane. He's swinging it, Banjo. Yeah, he, he really wants to force the issue right here to try to, like, you know, find a way to get this drive meter gone. But he's going to cash out for the level three, try to get some of this drive meter back. But this is going to be a lot of damage anyway. And Picaro, yep, one guess away. Ah, uh, the jabs. But he's burned out across the stage. From yeah. JP. We've got to see how this goes. Oh, a little bitty whiff. Punish counter. Wow, another Drop. throw. Are, are you serious? Uses the OD the second he gets it. Wow, goes with the, the jabs. Level two on deck here. Only I don't can take this. He can take this off of a few pixels. Oh, my God. Does he OD out? Wow, he He's committed dead. to the wrong button, I think. Oh, my God. With a pixel left, I don't clutch it out. Adam was a hair away, a breath away from going down 2-1, but can't get it. And goes for the parry and gets grabbed for his trouble. And here we go. Man, the JP, you think they're teabagging you, but they're, you know, they're just keeping you honest. But I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of it. Here we go, a little drive rush throw, peek a roll. Trying to get things back under control. Drive meter uh, running out here in IDOM. Literally setting it up, but here we go. Level two install. We got to get that quick pass in a hurry. Ooh, wow. Not Taking enough. a big risk right here. And yes, he's going to try to bring out the level two. That He doesn't OD Blanca ball, but he gets clipped by the low. Big time combo coming out from Idom right here. Moves forward and goes for the button into drive impact. And Idom is 2-1 on this match right now. Picaro got to be upset with himself over that second round in game three because... My brother Banjo, he had it. Yeah, Razor. He had it. I it saw it. Like, he was literally a, well, you know, just a, a hit away from sealing that up and yeah. not getting himself in that position anyway. But Picaro playing a little bit more aggressive. Now you got Idom in the corner, but that punish counter was uh, rough. And here we go. Another punish counter into another setup overhead. This man is cooking with grease. Uh uh. The big comeback from Idom in that last game. Look, those. Those moments build momentum, and momentum is a hell of a drug. And he can just stand here. Okay, the OD Blanca ball going to break up the nonsense. And we are back to business. Who's going to get the touch first? Oh, I like it. Stops early, trying to bait something. Doesn't get it. He can just kind of throw those out just to, just to see if Pete will, is, will buy it, but doesn't want to throw that out. Gets caught low. What do we got here? Grab one more mix up. We'll do it here for Picaro. Oh, Ooh, there you go. Wow. Shimmy, shimmy, baby. Caught him reaching. Able to get a punish counter throw. And now here we go. Round two. And Picaro was just trying to get some of that momentum back, man. He's one away from tying it up. And gets the perfect parry right here. Tries to step up against punish counter himself. And literally, he's trying to punish counter this Blanca after doing these Aaron Blanca balls. But he's not getting there fast enough. Gets clipped by the low. I think Adam really wanted to burn him out there with the level two, but he got hit too much to get burned out. And there we go. It comes through in the end. And now we got problems, Picaro, because you were on the opposite side of the stage for a moment. And he is going to throw some stuff at you, try to chip down on this life bar. Here we go. Oh, caught him reaching a little bit. Here we go. 
Idom gonna be able to seal this out. Not with a level one, but with OD, and here we go. Final round. Adam on set point, Piccolo back against the wall. The Amnesia activates. Oh, he parries everything and then gets up. The amnesia doesn't work that time. Level two install doesn't hit him, gets punished, countered, going the other way. Yep, he's gonna have to hold this mix up right here. Wow. Low profiles to grab against grab one more time, and Idom have health, and you have no drive meter on your side, but neither does Picaro. Does you get, do you get clipped by the low? This is the third time this has happened. He's gotten clipped by that low and to, into the rest of the level two. Yeah, it's gonna eat a little bit of chip damage here. Both of them got a stick of butter to work with. Oh, the level one catches him trying to sneak in. Oh, whiff, no punish. Can't drive rush in, he's wow. burned out. Literally three times in a row he's tried that button and it's not worked. Literally just barely missing Blanca. Oh, here we go. Here we go, he gets it. Yep. He's got his drive meter back. Picaro trying to stay alive. Gets the touch! We're going to game five, Banjo. Decisions, decisions. He's thinking about it. Rematch, rematch. Right into it. Get hot, folks. We're game five. Yeah, you definitely 1,000% have to make this hurt. Here we go. And Idom, and this has really been the game plan, and that has been the that has been the uh, the determining factor. It's like trying to figure out where to place a trap and without getting OD Blanca balled. And Idom literally trying to slow down the pace a little bit and stagger this. Okay, both of them low on drive gauge. Idom, man, taking Taking the hits avoids the burnout. But wow, right, here we go. Straight up jumping. And now he's going to burn the meter himself. And he can still, you know, throw the specials out, chip a little bit. Well, goes in, saves him, saves a little bit of. Yeah, but I love nah. the idea of him just jumping. Wow, he actually caught him with that. Here we go. And no, sir. He says, do not touch me. And Wow throws DI in the middle of all that. Here we go. A possible final round here for Idom. Got to be aware of the meter. We've seen a, seen a couple set points from Idom so far. Not been able to close it out. And here we go. Into the corner he is. Jumps back after the drive rush to avoid it. Picaro trying to find his spot, but Idom making it so hard. Yeah, Idom is out here respecting, like, you know, the different variations of Blanca balls that he might use. But the throw back out of the corner and a return to neutral right here for Idom. Ooh. Yeah, avoids the Ooh. hit. Okay, gets anti air. Nobody home. They're trying to uh, trying to grab in the tech grab, but they just both whiff. OD Blanca ball, nobody home. Goes over the top. Nobody there either. The defense at a premium. Here comes the perfect parry throw and going to try to set up some stuff from across the stage. Here we go. So if he gets a full screen Blanca ball, this is definitely going to hurt. Oh. Okay. Just going for air to airs at the moment. Gets the parry. Is he going to be able to punch this appropriately? Yes. Get some full screen once again. This is a tight match between these two. Whoa! My man teleporting. And respects it. Got him reaching. Oh, the Blanca ball on against the aerial. We are game five. Final round, Adam versus Picaro. Here we go, Loser Picaro. goes home. Picaro turning up the heat and already level two getting it started. Got to make him think a little bit. Guards against the low, but gets hit by just about everything else. This is so, so close between these two. Adam willing to keep him full screens, trying to bait an OD Blanca ball perhaps. Picaro, and once again, getting caught by it. Here we go, but not respecting the, the low jabs. Another core top, but guards it. Yo, level two install. My heart is pounding. Here we go, perfect parry. Super scaled, not gonna get a ton of damage, but gonna set up shop from across the stage. Get to kind of pick where you go. Oh, just the free jump in there. Picaro doesn't, doesn't check it. Checks that one, OD Blanca ball, but he's burned out. Shuts down the Blanca jump. 
Wow, here oh we go. This God. is so close. Gets the core pop. Going for air airs here. Gets it back in the corner. You have to be really careful. You're in burnout. DI is a, DI is available for Ion. Well, Pico okay. puts himself back in the here corner. We here we go. Here we go. And he's damage. going for the chip out. Yes. This could be it. Wow. Oh, gets he gets it back. Just 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 but he gets hit by the level two. And he wasn't watching his head. Yo. Oh, my and that God. That was about as close as you could get. Wow. Incredible stuff there, folks. And, uh, wow. Amazing stuff. Picaro eliminated on the and that instant is beautiful. replay and we here. want to see the instant replay right here. And you can tell the exact moment where he got hit. Unbelievable, man. I think he probably missed just one ghost in the middle of that string and just didn't account for it and unfortunately got hit by the rest of it. Oh my goodness, but man, what a top eight this has been so far. But before we go, we gotta make sure we gotta thank our people who have uh, sponsored this wonderful event. Pixio with the three separate monitors that it has not only the 1440, 180 hertz, but the 1080 on the swivel and the pastel colors. And of course, the uh, the big one, the 240 hertz with the two, with the 4K monitor, man. It's really, really good. It's one of a kind. It's out there and it's affordable, low price, high quality, and it's a colored monitor. And man, don't forget about the remix prints fusing the nerd culture, hip hop together pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the world of anime, gaming, and hip-hop. Of course, you know, they got the curly mustache, the Chinatown Fair, and of course, the logo, Sherry. And don't forget about the can opener hoodies that they have over there as well, so make sure y'all get that as well. And guys, don't forget about House of 3000. Make sure y'all get a quote from events at houseof3000.myc.com. Twitter, Twitch. YouTube and the Discord, man. NYC's premier production, bro. They're responsible for this right here. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, for every $20 that you donate to the Maturino, you're entered to win a custom stick. Defend the North, a leverless, courtesy of Johnny Fray's one of one, man. And, and shout out to Johnny, man. And with these wonderful, uh, with these wonderful sticks that he's provided for this amazing tournament, that stick is actually killer. So make sure y'all donate to the Maturino 100%. Absolutely, folks. Thank you so much for joining us here. We've had so much fun during this top eight hop stuff, but we're not done yet. We got top four coming up next. We're going to do a little commentator swap. Banjo, been great having you with me, my brother. Yes, First sir. First time on the mic. Hopefully it's not the last. You guys, thanks for sticking with us here at DTNX. Stick around, watch top four, go home, support your locals. I'm Razor 606. This is Banjo. We'll see you next time.